Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop. The day is Monday, August the 5th. Now, Hurricane Debbie made landfall earlier this morning around 7 o'clock in the Big Bend area of Florida. It has now weakened a little bit, but still a very strong tropical storm with 60 mile per hour winds across the northern portions of the Florida Panhandle, pushing in towards south central Georgia. What will this storm do? for the southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina over the next couple of days? Well, one thing is for certain, it's going to dump very heavy, perhaps historic rains across our region. And we're also under a tornado watch for Monday afternoon, and that'll probably be extended into Monday night into Tuesday morning. Let's go inside where it's drier. The rain is falling right now. I've already picked up just shy of an inch of rain here at the Heavenly Backyard Garden. So let's go inside and take a look at those maps. All right, let's take a look at the radar summary first of all. And there the storm is. This is from the uh, uh, Moody Air Force Base uh, radar, KVAX. And it's showing the center of the storm just to the west of Lake City, Florida. Uh, it made landfall earlier this morning uh, right in this area here. That was about seven hours ago uh, in the Big Bend area of Florida. So you can see it hasn't moved that much. Uh, and that's going to be the key with this storm. It's not going to be a fast-moving storm. It's going to be slow. And in the process of all this tropical moisture being pulled in from the Atlantic and being uh, drawn in from the Gulf of Mexico, that's going to be dropping across Georgia and South Carolina in the form of extremely heavy rains, perhaps historic rains, uh, with this system. Uh, let's take a look at the... Um, so looking at the base velocity, uh, this area here in the blue, um, that's tropical storm force winds, 39 miles an hour or greater. Uh, this uh, purple area to a uh, lighter uh, area here, that's around 55 to 60 mile per hour winds indicated by Doppler radar. Same thing on the other side of the radar, except moving uh, in the opposite direction, uh, showing winds uh, of around uh, 55 miles per hour. Now, let's take a look at some of the rainfall totals so far and storm total rainfall. Whoa, look at here. Over where the uh, storm is uh, in and around the Lake City area right now, just to the west of Lake City, uh, to the east of Tallahassee, according to the radar here, uh, already 11 to 12 inches of rain has fallen, almost 13 inches right there, uh, 14 inches right there, um, between Lake City and Mayo. Uh, that uh, is obviously uh, ed, uh, estimated by radar, but still a lot of rain, and that's all moving in our direction. Let's go to the Charleston weather radar system, uh, which is in Ridgeland, South Carolina. We're not seeing that much rain yet because we're further north of the system, but that's going to change throughout the uh, afternoon hours into the nighttime hours and throughout the day on Tuesday and for Wednesday. Uh, we're going to see some very heavy rainfalls across our area. Now, I just picked up just shy of an inch of rain. I'm right at one inch of rain right now. Let's see. It's measuring um, uh, right around almost an inch of rain at my location right here. So it's, it's doing pretty good. Anyway, let's look at the actual radar itself, the base velocity or reflectivity. And uh, let's put this into motion. And let me uh, pull it first. Uh, okay. And then put it into motion. And uh, there we can see some bands already developing. These are uh, where the squalls are going to start developing. As the core of the storm gets closer to our region, uh, it's going to be uh, pushing in more of those squalls. Squalls, brief periods of very heavy rains and strong gusty winds. And it's within those squalls is where you see uh, the short-lived brief tornadoes uh, that can be generating winds of well, 75 to 100 miles an hour for a short period of time uh, over a short distance. But if you're in that vicinity, that's not good news for you. So keep an eye on that. A tornado watch is in effect for our region. All right, let's take a look at that right now. And uh, I can bring that up over here. Um, the tornado watch uh, is in effect uh, for all of southeastern Georgia into the northern portion of Florida, the eastern northeastern quad of Florida. And that's going to get advanced northward into uh, South Carolina later this afternoon and tonight. Uh, so a uh, chance for these uh, squalls generating tornadoes in this area, basically east of the center of rotation is where you see the most intense uh, periods of uh, uh, activity uh, for uh, these squalls moving on in. All right, let's take a look at the actual uh, position of the storm itself from the National Hurricane Center and the forecast. There it is at 11 o'clock just to the uh, west of Lake City, Florida. Uh, and it's a tropical storm, tro strong tropical storm, but the winds will be decreasing as it goes over the land because it's at the moment its fuel supply has been cut off or greatly decreased. 
And, but then it's expected to move out in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Savannah, Tybee, uh, Hilton Head, uh, Defusky, and moving off the, uh, just off the course. And that's the center of the storm. That doesn't mean the storm's bypassing you uh, because it got rotation on the backside of this storm too. There's going to be a lot of moisture on the backside of the storm. But the key here, or the question here is, as it goes over these warmer waters of the Atlantic and the Gulf Stream, uh, it will pick up some more energy and the storm could intensify somewhat and then it's expected to move back on shore in, in around the uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area, then move northward into North Carolina, dumping there as well, very, very heavy rainfall. So uh, we're going to see a slow moving storm. This is um, uh, right now and then this is uh, two o'clock or eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So it's almost uh, uh, 24 hours to get from where it is now over in toward well, basically the city of Savannah and Chatham County and then Hilton Head and Buford and, and uh, up to Charleston well, moving just off the coast of uh, Defusky uh, in uh, 36 hours. It's going to take a while for that to get around. All right, let's take a look at one other thing, the um, how much rain. That's it right there. And uh, once again, uh, the purple has reappeared in the quantitative precipitation forecast. And this is for the uh, term uh, uh, going from 8 o'clock this morning until uh, 8 a.m. Saturday. So that's, you know, a, a five to six day forecast of a total rain. Most of this, though, is going to fall Wednesday or uh, today, Tuesday and Wednesday, a little bit on Thursday. Uh, but you can see over here from Hilton Head Island uh, to Beaufort up into just uh, into the Charleston, South Carolina area. Uh, that purple area there, that's how much rain? 20 to 25, perhaps 30 inches of rain. The burnt, or air, burnt orange area, that is uh, packing perhaps 16 to 20 inches of rain. Uh, and the red area, uh, 12 to 16 inches of rain. So that just covers just all of southeastern Georgia and the eastern half of South Carolina. Um, uh, and... Uh, that water's got to go someplace, and it's going to go in the rivers. And you're going to see major flooding on the uh, rivers in southeastern Georgia and eastern South Carolina. In Georgia, particularly the Savannah River, uh, over the Ogeechee River, the Ogeechee River is going to get really, really high. The Canoochee River, that goes without saying, the uh, Altamaha River, and, 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 and perhaps even the, the Satilla River. Uh, we're going to see a lot of flooding uh, with those rivers. We might even see record flood stages associated with this river. I remember back in the 90s, I think it was 1994, uh, we had horrendous rains across our area, but it mostly fell in one or two days. And the Ogeechee River uh, got so high that uh, over there at Morgan's Bridge, you know where that is at 204, right there in the Bryan County, at Chatham County line as you go into the, um, heading toward Ellabelle from Savannah to Ellabelle, uh, the, the water went over Morgan's Bridge. And in the same day, uh, going south on 17, uh, the Ogeechee River at 17 and the um, uh, King's Ferry right there at the Richmond Hill, well, going to Richmond Hill on the uh, Chatham County, Bryan County line, uh, the water was over that bridge as well. So uh, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me to see the water on the Ogeechee River get extremely high with this uh, uh, rainfall. Also, with this extensive rainfall, uh, there's a possibility with the rain coming down so hard that we could actually get road washouts where the road is completely destroyed in areas. Uh, so you have to be careful about that. If you're going to be driving in this, and I don't really recommend that at all. Um, uh, if you see flooded areas, the term is... Uh, turn around, don't drown, because you don't know how deep that water is. And if the road has caved in underneath, it may look like it's only yay deep or so, but it could be several feet deep. Uh, and, you know, you get in the car. Uh, you, if your windows are rolled up, you cannot get out of the car if the car is submerged into the water. So, again, um, if you see water over the road, turn around, don't drown. That's the key. All right, let's go into the weather maps themselves. And... Uh, there's a satellite imagery right now, and it shows uh, an extensive cloud cover across uh, southeast Georgia and South Carolina. And not much lightning, and usually that's the case with tropical systems. You don't see too much lightning until near the end of the storm was where you start seeing some lightning and, and thunder. And that's what we're seeing down here in portions of uh, uh, central Florida. Uh, on the backside of that storm, you're seeing some squall lines with uh, uh, thunder and lightning associated with that. A little bit on the Atlantic, but most of this is just very heavy rains. Uh, looking at the enhanced view right over here, and uh, uh, waiting on goes, there it is. Uh, the enhanced view shows the, the intense precipitation across the northern portions of Florida, south central Georgia. Already we've seen 14 inches of rain. 
estimated by radar uh, over in the uh, Lake City area of, of Florida. And this is all going to be moving up very slowly to the northeast uh, uh, and then exiting off the coast around Savannah. But you can see uh, there's the center of the storm itself and a lot of activity on the back side of it. So just because it moves off the coast doesn't mean we're on the clear. No, there's going to be more rain on the back side of that storm. Let's take a look at the uh, one of the computer models here. And uh, this shows the uh, precipitation associated with Debbie moving slowly northeastward and very intense rainfall uh, moving in across the upper portions of uh, southeastern Georgia now uh, in and around the Savannah area, the, of course, Hilton Head and uh, Beaufort. And this right here, where are we at? Uh, uh, 20 Zulu Tuesday, that'd be 4 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. I'm trying to translate my mind. Uh, Four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, the storm uh, is right over the, basically the core of the storm is over at Savannah. But look, way back here, even west of Statesboro, you're seeing some bands of very heavy rains in the Metter area, back to Swainsboro. Uh, very heavy rains across into uh, central uh, and southern South Carolina. Uh, and then more squalls along the coast will be moving in back toward the Beaufort area and, and, and Hilton Head. And the storm doesn't move all that much it just rotates and we're still seeing bands of convection and rain moving across the area by sunrise right there Wednesday morning we're still seeing rain in the Savannah area and some gusty winds associated with it too but as we take a look remember on the east side of the circulation is where you have the most intense uh, uh, rainfall and potential tornadoes and squalls on the west side you still get strong gusty winds uh, and, and some convection but it's on the east side but the storm starts moving back on shore into South Carolina. Meanders drifts a little bit south again. So, you know, on Thursday, here we go. This is sunset on Wednesday. And Thursday, uh, it's still hanging around the area according to this model here. And if you want to look at um, one other model real closely, the uh, global forecast system, the um, U.S. model, uh, it shows the storm basically doing a, a, a backflip here. It goes out the, off the coast of it, uh, Savannah and then moves back on shore uh, on Thursday with more heavy rains. Uh, hopefully this model is wrong, it's, but it's the GFS and it's a pretty sophisticated model, but we'll keep an eye on that. But the National Hurricane Center has other ideas and they think the storm is gonna exit, exit off the coast of Savannah. It will stay away from the Savannah, move away slowly, but still dropping some moderate to heavy rains on the back side of the circulation. How much rain? Well, uh, here on my website, savannapat.name, I have this precision forecast data. This is the information coming out at the National Weather Service. Uh, these aren't computer-generated numbers. These are uh, the values that are generated from computers and then uh, uh, manipulated and massaged by the humans, <laughs> the meteorologists from the National Weather Service. And for Chatham County, look at the rain totals uh, expected uh, from 8 p.m. tonight until 8 o'clock Tuesday morning in the uh, Savannah area, about five inches on the average or more uh, rain. And then uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, another two to three inches of rain total, uh, and at 13 to 14, 15 inches of rain in the Savannah area. And then across uh, southeastern Georgia, inland areas, uh, let's pick on uh, Statesboro, for example, over here. Um, Statesboro, I know it's here somewhere, there it is. Uh, five and a quarter inches of rain for tonight, almost uh, three and a half inches tomorrow, total 13 inches of rain there. Uh, what about Hilton Head Island? Uh, a lot of rain too, uh, 13 and a half inches perhaps. Um, uh, over in Hardyville, 14, almost 15 inches of rain there. So very heavy rains. Beaufort, about 14 inches again. Uh, so yeah, it, 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 this is a huge uh, issue with the uh, precipitation associated with this uh, tropical storm, Debbie. All right. Uh, again, on my website, uh, I have um, on the links to my videos, weather videos that you've been watching. Thank you very much. And uh, the forecast for the next three days is, of course, for a high probability of very heavy rains across the region. The only good thing about this is the rain is keeping the temperatures cool. Right now, at my location, uh, it's uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's only 74 degrees. So I'll take that. I don't want the rain, but I'll take that. I just, the uh, rain gauge right now, 1.08. It's, uh, it's, it's raining out there right now uh, with uh, some heavier rains uh, moving on in. Uh, yeah, there's my location right there. Look, there's a big band. That could be a squall right there coming on shore. So, okay, let me get back outside real quickly to wrap this thing up. 
Very heavy rains expected with Tropical Storm Debbie as it pushes across the area. Again, I'm outside right now and the winds are picking up a little bit and they're going to get more gusty throughout the afternoon hours into tonight. And as the squalls get more intense and get closer to our area, those are where the tornadoes will be uh, generated. And they'll be short-lived tornadoes, but they could have gusts of 75 to 100 mile an hour winds uh, over a short period of distance and of time. Anyway, keep an eye out for those. The tornado watch continues in effect. The flash flood watches and warnings are in effect. The tropical storm warning for the coast of Georgia and South Carolina remain in effect. I want to thank all those who have supported my channel. Uh, there you can see uh, the list of my supporters. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate those super thanks that have come in over the last couple of days. Very appreciate it. And uh, also, if you would like to help support my channel and get your name on the list, uh, I have different ways of doing that. And I have the links below. If you can buy me a cup of coffee. You can give me a super thanks. You can join my, my channel uh, links below as well. And you can also uh, join my Patreon page that supports this channel and my Heavenly Backyard Astronomy channel and my uh, SavannahPat.name website and my uh, Savannah or my Pat's Weather and Nature Facebook page. All those uh, grouping in together. I have a lot of expenses with the service fees for some of this weather data that I received and I have several computers generating this data constantly 24-7, 365. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope uh, uh, the uh, uh, weather is not as bad as we're expecting but you know you got to be prepared and that's what we're trying to do. So we'll stay dry. Well, that's going to be a challenge anyway, but stay dry and thanks for watching.